What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to fix the issue when your Wi-Fi connection is not working at all, not showing up, or disconnecting randomly. This should be quite an easy tutorial. For more information, click on the first link in the description below. First of all, open up your Windows Services Manager by searching for Services in your Start menu search. Click on any service and start typing WLAN Autoconfig. Right click the service and navigate to its properties. In the General tab, make sure that the startup type is set to automatic and that the status is running. Otherwise, click on Start to start a service. When this is done, you should make sure that your network adapter's driver is up to date. Search for Device Manager to open it up. Here, Expand your network adapters. Right-click the one you are using and select Update Driver. Make sure to search automatically for drivers, which will take a second to make sure that your network adapter is running the latest driver. When this is done and you're still experiencing Wi-Fi related issues, then open up your Windows settings. In the Network and Internet section, you can preview your current internet connection. Make sure that the Wi-Fi option is enabled. Click on Wi-Fi and then on Manage Known Networks. Here, click on the Wi-Fi connection that is not working on your system and make sure that the Metered Connection option is disabled. Back in your Network and Internet settings, navigate to your Advanced Network settings. Here, click on Network Reset. This will allow you to reset your current Wi-Fi connection. This can help a lot when you are unable to connect to the internet even though you are able to connect to the router. While resetting your connection, you should also restart your router or modem if you haven't done this in a while. In case nothing helps you out, then navigate to your system settings and select Troubleshoot. Under Other Troubleshooters, run the Internet Connections Troubleshooter. This will take a moment to detect common issues with your connection. Lastly, make sure to restart your PC after making all of these changes. Restarting your PC will restart some processes and services, which could prevent you from connecting to the Internet. In case you have any further issues or problems following this tutorial, then I suggest following my extensive guide linked in the description below. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.